forward. All right, this is part two of that number four. Is it number four? Number four from the 1.2.4, number four. And so all we've done so far is we took the three resistors and found out that the total resistance for a parallel circuit is 2,076 ohms. And so what we need to do next is figure out the total current. The total voltage is given. The total resistance we just found. So now we need to figure out the total current. And this is where Ohm's law comes in again. I hope this is still visible on the, on the screen. V equals IR. And so we know that the voltage is 12 and we don't know what the current is, but we're about to solve for it. And we know the resistance, or at least we hope the resistance is 2076 because that's what we just solved for. And if I'm trying to solve for I in this little algebra setup, that's going to be, what is that? 2076 divided by 12. Uh, 2076 divided by 12 is 173. Okay, I like it, I like it, 173. Actually, I'm not sure if I like it, I'm getting nervous now. I'm getting nervous. It's okay, it's okay. I can be nervous. Yeah, it's okay. The, I, I just get a weird feeling that that might not be the right answer. But uh, let's move on and just hope for the best. So this is the total current. We were given the total voltage, we calculated the total resistance, and now we have also calculated the total current. And remember, there are like 12 things we have to find. And we know like three of them. Actually, we know one, two, three, four, five, six, because we were given those resistances. So we know six out of the 12 things. So that's nice. We've got uh, the current right there. Well, now, things get a little strange. And the reason is that the current in a series circuit, the current in a series circuit is going to be the same everywhere in the circuit. Thank you. Bye-bye, Ms. Hoffman. Have a wonderful day. Um, the current in a series circuit is gonna be the same everywhere in the circuit, but this is not a series circuit. Lewis, if I were here, I would tell him, this is not a series circuit, so it doesn't behave the same way. So this current is going to be different in each of the three resistors. I don't know what it's gonna be, but it's gonna be different. However, I also know that the current in the three resistors will add up to the total current. So that's nice. I don't know if that's quite gonna get me where I need to go. Well, then there's this voltage. The volt total voltage and each individual voltage those turn out to be the same. Thank you, Nassim is, is, is nodding along with that. So if that is the case, if the voltage at resistor one and the voltage at resistor two and the voltage at resistor three, Al, Lewis, John, Matt, this is only true for parallel. The voltage in each resistor is going to be the same as the total. What is it, 12 volts? I'm getting nervous again. Okay, so it's 12 volts in each of the resistors. So wait a minute, we know current, voltage, and total resistance, that's three things. We know resistance, 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 that's three more things. We know voltage, voltage, and voltage, that's three more things. Well, how many things are there left? There's the current in each resistor. The current in each resistor, question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, the current in each resistor. The current in each resistor also behaves with Ohm's law, V equals I R. Except this time, it's going to, the, the current in resistor one is gonna be based on the voltage in resistor one and the resistance in resistor one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just rearrange the equation according to algebra, I equals V divided by R. Please, please, please correct me if I'm making a mistake. And then so for I, for I sub one, it's going to be 12 volts. For I sub two, it's going to be 12 volts. For I sub three, it's going to be 12 volts. It's the same for all three. What's different now is the resistance, the resistance. Well, what is the resistance for number one? 8,200. And the resistance for number two is 6,800. And the resistance for number three is 4,700. So if I divide each of those, am I still on the screen? Yeah. Barely? Yeah. 
So if I divide each of those, let me see, 12 divided by 8200 equals 0 0.00146, all right? And then the next one is 12 divided by 6800, and that is 0 0.00. 176 and then the third one 12 divided by 4700 is point zero zero two five five. Here are three currents at three different resistors. If those are correct, if those are correct, they should add up to the total current in the circuit. How do you feel about that? If these are correct, these three currents, they should add up to the total current. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. And honestly, I don't know. Remember I, I said I was feeling nervous? I don't know what the problem might have been, but I'm gonna let us think about it. So why don't we turn this into a positive? You guys figure out what's wrong with it. I'm gonna pause the video. And then I'll cry for a while, and then we'll come back and see if we. Pause the recording. Oh, I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the recording and then cry. <laughs>